Uh, hi guys and welcome to this new section about markers. Markers are an important uh, technique if you want or a method in After Effects. They help you a lot to mark either on the composition or on the layers. So I will teach you here everything about markers, at least most of the things about markers. And we are going to do a simple kinetic typography animation to apply the usage of markers. Let's see together. So if you notice, the characters are popping up using the scale only. And uh, we are going to learn how we set up these markers and how to make the job very easy for you to do more kinetic typography, more interesting things. So I'll see you in the next lecture where we'll start explaining about markers. Let's work with markers a bit. Let's understand uh, how to get markers, first of all, on the timeline. The first thing you want to know is that there are markers for the compositions. That is the markers that you put here on the work area. They are called composition markers. And there are markers that you can put on a certain layer. They will appear just here. Let's see how to do that. So we agreed we have composition markers and layer markers. Each one of them will have a certain use depending on what you want, of course, to achieve and what kind of information you want to capture or add to your layers or to your composition. First of all, let's get a marker inside the work area here or a composition marker. I press F2 and deselect everything. Your first option is this little button here that looks like a shield. This is the button where you can click and drag and you will have created a marker on the work area. It's a composition marker. Now notice it's the first marker, so it has the number one here. And I'll show you how to edit this one. If you click again and you drag, you will have another marker that has the number two here and so on. You can get as many markers as you want. If you want to remove a marker, just drag it outside. It's gone. And you know, another five is going to appear here. Or if you want to delete the marker, all you have to do is just press control. And there is the scissor that will appear here and you will be clicking and de deleting the marker. Let's say here on number two, I press control, I delete it. I can create a new marker now. If I bring it in, notice it's marker one that is coming back. So now marker two is coming in. So After Effects is very stubborn. It wants to start one, two, three, four, five. It won't let you start three, four, five, six, unless you delete the first two markers. Another thing you look about markers, you can right click on a marker and you have setting, go to marker time delete this marker, delete all the marker and lock this marker. Let's go to go to, go to marker time. So notice where is my timeline indicator? It's in the beginning here. If I click go to marker time, because I right click on this marker, then the timeline indicator will come over here. Now, this is wonderful because if you are like this, okay, and it's over here, and you want your timeline indicator to come over here all you have to do is to right click and say go to marker time and here you are now this is the way to navigate also you can use shift and it will snap on the markers as usual shift will snap you know on everything then you can right click on a marker and say of course delete this marker i bring another one here i like them one two three four then also i have delete all markers so i'm not gonna do but the nicest thing here is settings if I click on setting, I can either right click and click on setting or double click on the marker and the settings will open. So in the setting, I have the time. It means where is this marker and I have the duration of the marker. So a marker doesn't have to be on a single frame. It can be on several frames. It means you can here say time it starts at one. That's one second and it extends for two frames. Then you can come and say, I want to change the comments here. You see, this is a marker three and three text here, for example. Okay. And you have here chapter and web links. I'm not going to go through that now. It's uh, pretty, it's really a whole lesson if you want. And I click, okay. You notice now I have a label for the marker and the marker. Now there is a very small line. I tried to zoom in. That is only two frames long cool fine so i can double click again and change the text of course you know text here delete this one 
change the timing here i will put it back to zero and say okay so when i don't put a time here the duration it's only a single frame if i put a duration then it will be many frames like you can see here there is this tiny line under the text here i'll double click and remove it put back to zero i just want to show you several times then i can move and press shift and so on if you select a layer here you cannot drag this one and it doesn't come on the layer it still comes you know on the composition markers or the work area but to add a marker here you have the choice of pressing the star button or the multiplication button in the numeric pad not in the above the eight in the normal pad and if you don't have a numeric pad then you are in trouble <laughs> that's how after effect did it at least as much as i know if you press star you notice your marker comes here and you can move and press star again you can choose another layer and put a marker here using a star now there is another way i will delete all markers so that's a good example deleting all the markers now notice what happened when i right clicked on the marker in the composition markers in the work area i deleted all the markers in the work work area i can come over here and say delete all markers it will delete the markers only on this layer all the markers on the layer and this one i can say okay delete this marker is alone fine there is another way to put markers is to press shift one and you put on the composition or the work area that's a composition marker marker number one if you move on and press shift two you will put marker number two move on you can move backward also press shift three and you put marker three so this is another way to put composition markers i do not know of any other way to put uh, layers markers except with the star and that's all i use i make sure i have a numeric keypad that you know is connected to my computer so i can use this star it's very important that this star works and also when you're playing games it's very good to have the numeric part you know by the way okay so now i added several markers here so also what you can do is come to a marker here for example let's delete all other markers or delete all markers put a marker and decide okay you double click on it and you don't want this marker at 18 frames what you want it is at 50 frames for example press enter and here you are your timeline indicator did not move so don't get uh, very confused and 50 frames is two seconds so when you change the marker time be careful your uh, timeline indicator will not jump to this marker time okay click okay it's just the marker that moved i hope this was clear for you then i come of course double click on the marker and say okay marker one no i mean layer marker something like this okay we got it now this is how to manipulate markers and this is how to delete all the markers and work with them it's pretty easy it's pretty simple but i would like you to start using it because how do you use it you mark for example it's very useful when you're doing kinetic typography you mark where your layers want to start your keyframes want to start or some kind of action that is starting and then use that marker you jump to this marker to put the keyframe to trim the layer or to start a certain effect if you like but what is most important is first of all you can leave documentation for other people after you that's one or in just the people who are taking care of your project for example but also i tell you i put these markers a lot in my big projects the important one of course why because now i remember everything for the next one week i will remember this project but after two months if i am told to change that project or to add to this project i really cannot remember what's this keyframe for and why did i put it there and the tendency is to press the delete button and start over again but since i'm in business with after effect doing that will mean a lot of loss of time which means also loss of loss of money so please try to start using the markers put some you know get the habit and in the next lecture we'll bring in the mp3 we'll look at sound and we mark certain words within the song i'll see you then so now we want to create this animation now this is very nice animation there is something i must tell you here the pop that is used in the composition is much better than the one you are seeing in the video this is because i'm recording at 30 frames per second and i'm sure you know already about that 
but it seems there is some uh, difference between the player of Udemy or any player in fact and uh, the recordings so when you download the project you see a very nice pop not like the one that is recorded it's much better than that so we want to create this animation now very nice cool let's go to a composition where i only put the text there is no animation at all uh, first of all i'm gonna take my hey teacher the mp3 and drop it in i will open the layer for the mp3 i have audio here i will open the audio and very simply I have the waveforms. The waveform you notice here, it's not possible to discern where the hey teacher, you know, leave the kids alone is appearing because this is a song and there is music, so they are all mixed up. Now, this is the waveform. You can make the sound a bit higher or you can take it down if you want, the way you want. I'll leave it to zero for me, it's okay for this course. Now, I need to mark every word. So if I play. I need to notice where each word is and mark this word. Now, something important. I am here in After Effects 2016, the latest version that is 13.3 or something like this. So it's enough for me to press the play button to hear the sound. Maybe if you're using older version, maybe the 2014 also, you want to run a RAM preview, then you can hear the sound. Okay, so how I'm gonna find out where these words are? By the way, if you press control and move the timeline indicator, you can hear the sound, which is pretty useless in this case, but sometimes it's quite good when you're using a boom sound, a bang or something like this, you can really locate them. Now, how do we locate the words? What we are going to do is to put my hand on the star and then press the space bar to play. And then when I hear a word, I will press the star to create a marker where this word is. Now I will deselect everything and I want it all to appear on the composition marker here on the work area. I will put my hand on the star and press the space bar. Okay. Okay, that's very fine. I think alone should come here and the kids should be here. Nevertheless, that's okay. Now I have a marker here, I'm gonna double click on it. That's marker one is on 18. I'm, I'm gonna say, this is the hey. Okay, so I'm gonna give them all uh, labels. Hey, uh, teacher, and here is a leave. I press okay, and the kids. And then the last one, alone. Now, I think this is quite good. Okay, at least for the course. Now I have the markers, you know, well assigned to the layer. What I can do also is I come to the marker here and choose my layer and press star. So I can, you know, mark this one to this one. So I mark this to this. So I know exactly if I move the layer, I know how, you know, to return it in a certain way, you know. At least here I'm not confused where is the marker and where is the layer. I can make like one mark and that's it. It's okay. Fine. Now we want to create the animation. I will select all the layers, press S and uh, come to the beginning, keyframe the scale, go a few frames forward. I will say five frames, for example, and uh, keyframe again the scale. Come back to the beginning and make it all zeros. Cool. So what do we have? I have this one coming up. Cool. It's not bad. I'm going to select them all, press F9 to easy ease them, go to the chart. And of course, now I am in the value chart for the scale is better. I'm going to select all these keyframes and give them a bump, a nice bump like this. Okay. And then maybe like this. No, I have to select all the keyframes and do like this. Maybe this will work better. See the effect here. Do I have this jump? Now it's very good. Now remember how we work. First of all, we put our layers, we make our design like we have done here. Then we put our keyframes, then we want to time now. So let's zoom in and we time. So hey should start from here. I will take the timeline indicator to hey and time it like this. That's okay. So it's zero and then it pumps. And when hey is said or finished to be said, then the text is already there. I will do the same here also. I will take this one and just snap it here. Fine. And then I'll go to leave and take this one and put it here and go to the kids 
and take it and put it here and then this one of course I'll get the timeline indicator first and put it now let's play it and see exactly if we have done something very useful we press play not bad in fact I'm impressed that I could speak it out and really make it right so you notice that using the markers kinetic typography becomes really quite easy now I know very well this is hail what I can do is to come and start playing for example with the position instead of having it just come here I can come over here you know and uh, keyframe the position and uh, take it backward like this then come to the next keyframe and bring it forward wherever it was for example so now I have a double movement here it's quite good but it's very easy when I know where it is when I know the marker I'm not working blindly look at this and if I remove all the markers delete all markers now you know it's a bit mysterious but I will undo that if you have your markers in the right way even if your song is five minutes it's pretty easy to take chunks of 30 seconds use markers and here you are you have your animation you know very speedy as you notice we did it quite speedy while I was explaining to you so if I was focusing maybe it will have been you know in shorter time also the same will apply to you you can put your markers decide where you want to put your animation decide when the text or the words are gonna pop up on your screen and then using these markers you can start doing the keyframes moving the layers and things will be easy thanks very much for listening this is all about markers is a short section but it's very useful and I insist that do not go easy on the markers use them think about it that you have to save time and time is important when you're working motion graphics thank you very much I'll see you in the next lecture